Three. Okay, it's that. Okay. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, saints. Amen. This is just. All right. God is good and he's greatly to be praised. Amen. I want to welcome all Agape Love Bible College. Amen. Alumni, Agape Love Church Ministries, Agape Love um, School of Theology. Amen. All our associations. We want to know, let you know that we love you and we're praying for you and with you. Amen. And on today, Dr. Dixon is taking a day of rest, so I will be her assistant on today in executing the word on today. Um, for your listening ears, I want to pray with you and um, for you concerning praise is, prof is a prophetic tool against the enemy. How praise can be a prophetic tool against the enemy. Won't you pray with me? Bow your heads, Father, in your mighty precious Son, Jesus' name. We thank you that this is the day that you have made, and we shall rejoice and give God the glory and give him all the praise because he's so worthy to be praised. So, Lord, we adore you, Adonai, Elohim. We worship you. We magnify you. You are our Lord. You are our master. You are our king. And we ask you to, to take up upper seat, take up room here today, Father God, Get your glory. You take the high seat and get your glory for you are the king of glory. And Father God, open our ears and we may open them wide that we may hear your word. Father God, and word, word, the, word, word the, the lips of my mouth, Father God, that I may speak boldly with us, saith the Lord. Let it be a word seasoned with grace that it may encourage someone along their journey in this life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everyone said, thank God. Amen. Amen. Well, I got my three Bibles. I got my Passion Bible. I have my Moore Sorello Bible. And I have my um, new version of the New Spirit Field Life Bible. So between all my Bible study tools, we're going to get through this word on today. Um, for beginning, we want to start with the book of Chronicles in the 20th chapter about Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat gave us an ex excellent example on how to worship the Lord, how to win the battle through praise. How to win your battles through praise. The devil ain't going to give it to you on a silver platter. You have to take it. The Bible says the violent take it by force. And so we don't we don't just wait for it. We have to take it. So I want to begin reading it on my King James Moore Sorello Bible. It says, it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them other beside the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat saying, there cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond, from beyond, glory to God, the seat on this side, Syria. And before I go forward, Lord, I pray that you look on Israel Comfort her, comfort her right now, and fight for her. Be a ring of fire all around about, all around, all around about her, Father God. Bind the adversary, the enemy that would think to come and wage war against her. Fight against those that fight against her. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, I want to finish reading that verse over. Sometimes the Holy Ghost do me like that. The Holy Ghost check to just pray for Israel, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Amen. It says, then on the second verse, then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, there cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this side, Syria. And behold, they they be in Hazazan Tamar, which is in Jedi, or in Jedi. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah and Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord even out of all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord and Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court and said O Lord God of our fathers art 
art not thou God in heaven? And rulest not thou over all kingdoms of the heathen? And in thine hand is there not power and might so that none is able to withstand thee? Art not thou our God who didst drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people Israel? And gave us it to the, to the seed of Abraham thy friend forever? And they dwelt therein and have built thee a sanctuary therein for thy name, saying, If when evil cometh upon us as the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house and in thy presence, for thy name is in this house, and cry unto thee in our affliction, then thou wilt hear and help. And now behold the children of Ammon and Moab and Mousir, whom thou wouldest not let Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and destroyed them not. Behold, I say how they reward us to come to cast us out of that possession, which thou hast given us to inherit. O our God, wilt thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon thee. And all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children. My God, my God, help us, Lord. Help your people. Then upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaniah, the son of Jael, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, and the, came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And he said, Hearken ye all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou King Jehoshaphat. Thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid, nor dismayed, by reason of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow go ye down against them to behold. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of Ziz, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeriel. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping. They were what? Worshiping the Lord. And the Levites and the of the children of, of the Kohites and of the children of Korahites. Kor, 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 Kor stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. And they rose early in the morning and went as they went forth. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood. Let me read that again. And then, and they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and so shall ye be established. Believe in his prophets, and so shall ye prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed what? Singers. He appointed singers unto the Lord, and that should praise the beauty of holiness. And they went out before the army, and to say, praise the Lord. For his mercy endure forever. And you find that in another another part of Psalms where they say that it's a whole psalm. Praise the Lord for his mercy endure forever. Amen. It's just recorded over and over and over again as an anthem unto the Lord. And and it was, I think it believe it was about the priests that were praising the Lord. And when and when they began to sing, and I'm gonna say that again, and when they began to sing. I'm going to say that again. And when they began to sing 
and to praise the Lord. The Lord sent ambushes, ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were all smitten. They were smitten. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of, of, of Seir, everyone helped to destroy another. So there was three camps fighting against each other. My God, my God. And going on a 24th verse, it says, And when Judah came toward the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, there were dead bodies fallen to the earth, and none escaped. And when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil, they had to reap the benefits of the battles, of course. <laughs> Spoils of every battle. And when they came to take away the spoil of them, they found among them in abundance both riches with dead bodies and precious jewels, which they stripped off for themselves, more than they could carry away. And they were three days in gathering of the spoil. It was so much. And on the fourth day they assembled themselves in the valley of Baraka. For they for there they blessed the Lord. Therefore the name of the same place was called the Valley of Baraka unto this day. Then they returned every man of Judah and Jerusalem and Jehoshaphat in the forefront of them to go again to Jerusalem with joy. For the Lord had made them to rejoice over their enemies. And they came to Jerusalem with salt trees and harps and trumpets unto the house of the Lord. And the fear of God was on all the kingdoms of those countries when they had heard that the Lord fought against the enemies of Israel. Doesn't that sound familiar? Every time God does, it wrought a great victory for Israel. Those who are all involved begin to fear the God of Israel. Don't do nothing against Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Did you hear how God delivered them out of the fiery furnace of affliction? Don't do, not, don't do anything against the God of Daniel. Did you hear how God delivered him out of the lion's den? Did you hear about what God did for little David when he came against Goliath? Don't go mess with his God. God delivered him. He delivered a lion, a bear, and even a great big Philistine. Goliath into his hand because these were all praisers. It's all in the praise. It's all in the praise. Hallelujah. It's all in the praise, beloved. It's all in the praise. And I just want to say that praise God. Send you the first always brings a blessing. When you always go into a camp, Praise the Lord. And that we bring that brings me to mind. I want to go hallelujah. I feel the anointing. I'm gonna go over to the book of Psalms. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm gonna use my new living Bible. Hallelujah. And Psalms 100. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. And this is not a choice, it's a command. He tells us in his word: make a joyful shout to the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Hallelujah. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. And be thankful to him and bless his name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's just bless the Lord. I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord. It's something about when you begin to praise him. It, it illuminates the whole environment. It becomes it becomes full of the atmosphere of God. Just the aroma of God fills the room. Glory to God. His presence begins to permeate in the room. Glory to God. If you got a headache, your headache begins to go. It begins to lift. Glory to God. When you begin to worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Amen. Let's go forward. Praise God. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to my Passion Bible. I'm going to go to Psalms 33. Amen. It just reads just a little bit different. But I'm going to go to Psalms 33. Praise God. Amen. But it's still the unadulterated word of God. Psalms 33 and 1. And why I like this scripture? Because it's also 
uh, a sister scripture to Psalms 147 and 1. And I just want to read that one, Psalm 33. It says, it is time to sing and shout for joy. Go ahead, all you redeemed ones, do it. Praise him with all you have. For praise looks lovely on the lips of God's lovers. Hallelujah, they're beautiful. Let me read it again. It's time. It's time to sing and shout for joy. Go ahead, all you redeemed ones, do it. Praise him with all you have, for praise looks lovely on the lips of God's lovers. Amen. And I'm going to go read that in Psalm King James. So you can see what, it, what I'm reading here. For those that say, that doesn't sound familiar, Sister Sarah. Well, let me go over to the Psalms 33. Glory to God in Psalms. King James Version. 33 says, Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is calmly for the upright. Praise the Lord with song. I mean, praise the Lord with harp. Sing unto him with a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. Glory to God. Sing unto him with a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise. And that's how it reads. And I'm going to go over to 147 in King James. Psalms 147. This is so good. I just love to worship him. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise is prophetic. It is prophetic. In other words, you don't even feel the effects of what your praise is doing until you're done with it. Until you come to the event where you say, that's why I was praising God so hard. God was fighting for me in that regard. He was fighting for me on, 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 that, on that wise. He was moving on my behalf. He was moving for my kids. He was moving for my family. Whatever you have, your husband, your wife, whoever, grandma, grandpa, whoever. He has you to praise God sometimes not for you, but for your loved ones. Stand in proxy for them. And then Psalms 147 and 1 reads, Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant, and praise is comely. Amen. The Lord doth build up Jerusalem. He gathereth together the outcasts of Israel. He healeth the brokenhearted and bindeth up their wounds. All oh, this is because of praise. Because how about those shots? Let me go forward. And then 40, and then the fourth verse, okay. Let me go the third verse, really. It says, He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. He telleth the number of the stars. He calleth them all by their names. Great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is infinite. There's no ending to his understanding. The Lord lifted up the meek. He casteth, he casteth the wicked down to the ground. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God. Amen. And what's going to really bless you? Let's go to Psalm 67. Hallelujah. I think I'll do my uh, new life, my new new life spirit Bible, new spirit field life Bible, Psalm 67. And then I'll come back to King James. I just want to get hallelujah, Rabosha. I want to eat the whole roll. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Psalm 67. Glory to God. 1 through 7. And it says, make a joyful. Well, that's one. I mean, 66. It sounds familiar. Like Psalm 100. 67 and 1 reads, God be merciful to us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us that your way may be known on earth. Your salvation among all nations. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations on earth. Let the people praise you, O oh God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth shall yield her increase. God, our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Amen. That that reminds me of a testimony. Before I go forward in the word, I was working, and I was working a summer job at this daycare, and man, school was out, so I was working at a daycare, and I was working at I, I was one of the kinder care places. Oh, I was so blessed. I mean, just tears about to come up my eyes before I even tell it because I remember it so well. This little baby girl, she was so precious, just a precious little angel. She was crying. Uh, she was supposed to take nap time right there, but she didn't want to take nap time. So I said, what's wrong? She said, I want my daddy. I said, your daddy's going to come. She was just crying. I want my daddy, daddy. 
And so I said, your dad, I said, I'll call dad and all mom, whoever, and then let them know, come on, get her, because she's crying for her dad. And she kept, and even though I did the phone call and everything, and we told her her daddy's coming, she still said, my daddy's going to come. My daddy's going to come. My daddy's going to come and get me. My daddy's going to come and get me. That's how we are when, the, when we're praying to God, and we believe in God for miracles. You just praise him. You don't have to cry. But when you cry, God hears you, but he would rather you give him the sacrifice of praise. Hallelujah. Give him the sacrifice of praise. And as, as she began to contemplate and think about, my daddy's coming. He's going to come. My daddy, I know he's coming. So without, without, without a phone call or, or anything to just let us know that he was coming, all of a sudden he showed up before 3 o'clock or whatever time it is before they left for the day. And I'm like, see, you're, and before he came, he was a big, tall man. She ran to him, and she's a little bitty, little something. She ran, a little itsy bitty, little bitty. And she runs to her father. She was so happy. And that's all she kept saying, my daddy is coming, my daddy's coming. And yes, your daddy is coming. Call on your God. And how do, what does he look for? Praise. Hallelujah. Your praise is the language that he understands. Whatever you have a need of. Praise is what I do. Just begin to praise him. Glory to God. And watch the walls come tumbling down. Just like in the time of Joshua. Amen. He marched around those walls seven times until the walls came tumbling down. Amen. Amen. Praise. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I'm going to go over, and I skipped over that real early to Psalms 100. I want to take you to a special scripture that I love in the book of Isaiah. And this is dealing with the results and benefits of praise. Sister Sarah, what are the benefits of praise? Say, I know you tell me I got to praise God like they say in church. Praise him. Praise him. Or hallelujah. Hallelujah. Or I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. And we can sing all types of songs, whether it's fast songs, slow worship songs, any way you can bring worship to his name. Hallelujah. He hears you. And sometimes when you're going through, I remember back in the old school, my grandma said, if we didn't have anything to say because we were so bound, if I could just raise my hand. That's a praise. Worship God the best way you can. Whether you can raise your hand. Maybe you might need to go, hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, if I can't say a word, you see, Bible said even groanings, hallelujah, groanings that you know not what you're saying. The, your spirit will pray through you sometimes with moans and groans that you don't understand. And even in the midnight hour, when you're resting in your bed and you're trying to, you can't even contemplate what's what to do next. God will give you a a spirit. He'll, he'll drop it in your spirit of praise, and you'll be singing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And you begin to say, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And as you begin to worship Him, all of a sudden the spirit begins to change. Your frown begins to turn into a smile as you begin to worship Him. That thing that did not move, that stumbling block begins to wash and move right out of your place. Glory to God. Only through worship. Only through worship. I mean, I'm going through something right now. But only through worship. Hallelujah. There was a song we used to sing in the church. I feel like going on. I feel like going on and then it goes with all my trials may last on every hand i feel like go going on but i'm gonna read this in isaiah 35 before i go forward in the lesson with more singing psalm 35 says you didn't come to hear me sing <laughs> 35 and let me get at the first verse. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice 
and blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing. What did I say? Joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it. Thank you, God. My eyes are just praise God. The excellency of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellency of our God. The strength. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong. Fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Glory to God. So he's speaking to the old. He's speaking to the young. I will come and save you. The, then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. And the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as an heart. And the tongue of the dumb sing. For in the wilderness shall waters break out. And streams in the desert. Oh, my God. Shall like some miracles are happening right about now. And the parched ground shall become a pool. And the thirsty land springs of water. In the, in, in the habitation of dragons. Whoa. That means, that sounds like Psalms 23. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Amen. Where each lay shall be grass with reeds and rushes. And an highway shall be there and a way. And it shall be called the way of holiness. See, we, you see, it takes holiness, holy living to really worship God. Hallelujah. You got to have a lifestyle that will get God's attention, first of all. The unclean shall not pass over it. So you got to be holy to pass over this. And then it says, but it shall be for those, the wayfaring men, though fools shall not err therein. No lion shall be there. God said, I'm moving all the enemies out of your way. No lions, no adders, no dragons. I'm moving them out your way, praise God. Through what? Prayer and through praise. Hallelujah. Nor any ravenous beast shall go up thereon. It shall not be found there. But the redeemed, I said, who the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. Glory to God. How many got everlasting joy right now? I got it. You got it. Amen. Amen. It's different from happiness. Happiness is sometimey. But joy lasts forever. Hallelujah. Remember the song? He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. It's like a river of living water springing up in my soul. Joy unspeakable. A joy that never ends. And then a special part I love. He's my joy. I know that Jesus is my joy. Oh, glory to God. Let me reread the 10 verse. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. They'll just flee away. you would be like, what happened? I thought they said this was going on. Wait, stop, hold it. This stopped? God stopped that storm? He commanded all to cease. It just evaporated. It just sighed away. That's what prayer and praise is. It, it moves the enemy out of your place, out of your way. Glory to God. Whatever you've been going through with, God will fight for you. One person I want to bring up in this lesson. Let me go to my spirit-filled led Bible. I want to go to the book of Judges. Since we're talking about prayer and praise. Looking at my time. Go to the book of Judges. 
All right, we got Joshua and Judges. All right. There were two significant characters in this study. I'm not going to go through the whole lesson because I want to belabor the time. But I love the fact that Deborah was a woman that was a worshiper. Yes, she was a prophetess. Holy God. Let me talk about Deborah. Deborah was anointed as judge, prophetess, and then who's the other character in the story? There's a man by the name of Barak. Barak. He had, he had an army of over 10,000. Amen. Or 10 legions. Or a legion. <laughs> Nevertheless, even though he was a, a big leader in the in, in this lesson, it took a praiser to get it done. It took a praiser. A lot of times, praise people that praise God, they look down on. They say, there he goes again. There she goes again. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Or she's hitting the deck and praising God in, in a shout or dance. But if you take time and really... Like that song say, look a little closer into that person's life, into their story. You find out trial after trial after trial after trial after test after test after test and over test and many tests and tribulations. They overcame them all through what? Prayer and praise. These are our battle act -like tools. You need some tools to fight the devil. He's not going to give it to you on a silver platter. You have to fight the devil. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. How do you pull them down? You are the Lord that heals me. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word and healed my disease whatever is eat was is taken away from your ease you are the lord my healer so again let me just talk about this i'm going straight away to the point of reference here that i was talking about they sang a song <laughs> deborah and barak the son of Abinamon sing or sang on that day, saying, When leaders lead in Israel, when the people willingly offer themselves, bless the Lord. Hear, O kings, give ear, O princesses. I, even I, will sing to the Lord. I will sing praises. Oh, I will sing praise to the Lord God of Israel. Lord, when you went out from Seir, when you marched from the field of Edom, the earth trembled and the heavens poured. The clouds also poured water. The mountains gushed before the mountains. The mountains gushed before the Lord. This Sinai, before the Lord God of Israel, in the days of Shamgar, the son of Anath, in the days of Jael, the highways were, de were deserted and the travelers walked along the byways. Village life ceased. It ceased in Israel until I, Deborah, arose. Arose a mother in Israel. She arose. How did she arise? Because of her looks? No, the scripture really says how beautiful she was. I don't know how much money she had. I know they said she was a judge. I know she was a prophetess. But she arose a mother. And happy Mother's Day again to all the mothers. She said she arose a mother in Israel. But what? They chose new gods. Then there was war in the gates. See, when you go worshiping other gods you say i'm not going to church on today i'm going to the i'm going to go wash my car and oh i might play a little golf 
And let's see. I, I think I'm going to get that sale that's going on right now. You know, Macy's has a great sale going on right now. I can get some stuff for my kids, get some stuff for my husband, get some stuff for my wife, grandma, grandpa. Okay, stop, stop, just stop. The Lord said, that day is holy, holy unto the Lord. And do you not know that God is possessive? He's jealous. He's a jealous God. But let me read on. It says, they chose new gods. Then there was war in the gates. So when you go through and you say, well, pastor, I'm going through this now. I mean, you just prayed for me and I got through that, but now I'm going through this. Well, maybe you put the Lord second. Maybe you put him third or even fourth. Then there was war in the gates. Not a shield or spear was seen among 40,000 in Israel. My heart is with the rulers of Israel who offered themselves willingly with the people. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. It's time to bless the Lord. And this song goes on and on and on. We are to bless the Lord. And we read the 24th verse. It says, most blessed among women is Jael, the wife of Heber, the Kenite. Blessed is she among women in tents. He asked her, he asked for water. She gave him milk. She brought out cream in a lordy bowl. She stretched her hand to the tent peg. She stretched her hand to the tent peg, her right hand to the workman's hammer. She pounded Caesarea. She pierced his head. She split and struck through his temple. At her feet, he sank. He fell. He lay still. At her feet, he sank. He fell. Where he sank, there he fell dead. The enemy of Israel fell dead. I'm going to say it again. The enemies of Israel fell dead. Now, Deborah is a woman. Jael is a woman. But the prophecy was that Deborah said was, because you said you would not go up, except you go up with, go up with me, now, therefore... The victory shall be, shall be, the glory shall go to a woman, or the honor to a woman. But nevertheless, it doesn't matter who, it was because she was what? Willing. The Bible says, except you first be of a willing heart. You got to be willing to praise the Lord. I go to church sometimes, sometimes people don't open their mouths. They're thinking that they're at a movie complex and they got to watch a show. It's about worshiping him. They that for they that worship him must worship him out in spirit and in truth. He wants us to, he seek of such. The Lord is seeking. He's looking all over the earth. Who will worship? Who will worship me? Who will worship me? For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You find peace, liberty, joy as you begin to worship him. I guarantee you that job that you've been waiting, waiting on. That spouse that you've been praying for, that car that you believe in God for, that that promotion you believe in God for is in the praise. Or, or just finances. You need any kind of finance right now. It's in the praise. Whatever you need is in the praise. Praise brings results. Praise that brings results. Amen. And praise is a prophetic tool against the enemy. So we talked about praise. We talked about worship. We were saying some songs. And then we read about also being of a willing heart, a willing spirit. We gave a couple of characters. We talked about Jehoshaphat, Deborah, and Barak. Barak came and went along with Deborah. <laughs> But nevertheless, he was willing, even though he came second. So your blessing is in the praise and in the worship. You say, I don't know any songs to Sarah. Well, in the church, sometimes we just say, oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 however you 
worship him. You say, I may not be able to sing, I don't have a voice, well then can you play an instrument? If you can't play the instrument, giving is a, also another type of worship. If you give the Lord a sacrifice of praise through the keyboards, the drum, the trumpet, whatever, however you can praise the Lord, go ahead and get your praise on. And watch some God turn that thing around for you. Amen. Isn't God good? Thank you all for listening and being with us on today. On tonight, I'm not going to keep you any longer. Pray for me. Amen. While you're worshiping, while you're praying, say a little prayer for me. Amen. And let's pray. Let's end this and seal it in prayer. Father, thank you for Dr. Dixon, my pastor. Just allow me this time, this space to come before your precious people. Lord, I pray that you bless your servants, Lord God. Those that's going through spiritual warfare, let them know that it's already done in the spirit. It's already broken. Every yoke is destroyed because of your anointing. And worship, praise, fights the devil anytime. Lord, we destroy that foul spirit, oh God, of antagonism. That spirit of, 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 of keeping them, letting the people feel like they're down or destroyed or is over and out. The devil's a lie. No weapon formed against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. For greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. And you can do all things through Christ which strengthens you. Hallelujah. And when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lifts up a standard against it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, for you are the Lord that healeth us. You are the Lord, our healer. And Father, you know I know that to be true. Now, I pray for the mind today. Let's headaches right now. Cast the devil out of the mind from every headache, every spirit that's trying to come against them. We bind it now, and it's bound under the blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' mighty name. And everyone said, thank God. Thank God, amen. God bless you again. Thank you for watching. Bless you, Agape, and we'll talk to you later. Pray for me. God bless. And bless my pastor, Dr. Dixon. Amen. <laughs>